Want to free up storage space quickly and easily on your iPhone? I will show a ways to free up storage space and get extra gigabytes on your device. So, let's watch the video till the end. Before we start, make sure you have backed up your data to iCloud or a computer before deleting anything from your iPhone. Tap on topic card to watch the full video on how to back up iPhone before update iOS 18 first. We need to check what data is stored on our device. To that end, let's optimize iPhone storage. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Hit the general section and tap on iPhone storage. The color-coded graph at the top of your iPhone screen shows what's being stored on your device and how much space it uses. Please wait for a moment to load this storage graph. After that, you can review the recommendations, tap show all options. These analyze and show what uses the most space to check them. If you want to use recommendations, for example, you can see an option to recently deleted. Tap on the empty button to permanently delete all photos and videos kept in the recently deleted album. There are also options to offload unused apps, which remove rarely used apps while keeping their data intact for easy reinstallation. Next is review large attachments, remove older downloads, and iCloud photos. You can enable them directly or follow the next steps to free up storage space manually. Number two tip is review and delete large photos and videos. To do that, swipe up on iPhone storage settings to see a list of apps. Select the app that consumes the most storage space. As you can see, the Photos app uses more storage on my device. So, tap on Photos and you can follow recommendations such as permanently deleting recently deleted photos and videos and automatically uploading and storing all images and videos on iCloud. The third option shows a review your videos. Here I am tapping on it. Then check which videos take up the most storage, select the videos and tap on the delete icon. After that, select delete from this iPhone to delete the media file permanently. That's it. The number three tip is delete large attachments in the messages app. Now, Tap on the back arrow and check for other apps. Tap on show all to view the list of apps. If you use a message to share media files, it may take up your storage space. To manage it, scroll to open the messages section, then tap on review large attachments. You can see the large attachments available here. Tap on the edit button at the top right corner and select the video you don't need or that is too old. Then, tap the delete button. This action deletes large attachments from your iPhone storage. If you have another device linked with the same a message account, the number four tip is offload unused apps. If most of your storage space is taken up by applications, the offloading method cleans up storage space without actually deleting the apps. On the iPhone storage settings, check which app is taking up your storage space. By offloading the app, you will free up storage used by the app but keep its documents and data. Here, I don't use GarageBand regularly. You can reinstall if you change your mind and want to use the GarageBand app. So, tap on the Offload app option. A confirmation message pops up on the iPhone screen. Select the Offload app option. That's it. When you reinstall the GarageBand app, its data will be placed back. That's it. If you want to enable Offload unused apps for all apps, you can do so in an alternate way from iPhone Settings app. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up to the App section and open it. Then, tap on App Store. Again, swipe up and turn on the toggle next to Offload Unused Apps. That's it. The number 5 tip is Delete Unnecessary Apps. Launch the Settings app and tap on General. Head to the iPhone Storage. Swipe up to the list of apps. Tap on Show All to see more apps. Check which app you don't use and tap on it. Then. Hit the delete app option. A message prompts on the iPhone screen that says that deleting this app will also delete its data, but any documents or data stored in iCloud will not be deleted. At last, confirm the delete option. That's it. Tap the top i card to watch the video on how to delete apps on the new iOS update if it's not showing or missing the delete option. The number six tip is turn on iCloud photo library. Enabling iCloud Photos on your iPhone automatically stores your photos and videos in iCloud and frees up space on your device. You can also browse, search, and share from any device. Let's see the steps. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. 
swipe up to the apps section. Then, find the Photos app and turn on the toggle next to iCloud Photos. That's it. Next, important tips are the number seven tip is clear browsing history and data. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up and select the app section. Then, swipe up and tap on the Safari section. Afterward, swipe to the history and website data section and tap on clear history and website data. That's it. We can free up GBs of storage by doing this after a long time. The number eight tip is auto delete messages from message app on iPhone. You can manually manage messages from the settings app. To do so, open the settings app, swipe to the app section, swipe up and find messages. Afterward, swipe up to the message history section and open it. Three options are available. 30 days, one year and forever. Select the first option, which means the messages will remain on your device for 30 days or one year, after which they will be permanently deleted from your iPhone. That's it. I hope these methods help. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks videos.